Hi everybody, this is Gustav's Thrift Hall and boy have I got some stuff to show you. Um, uh, it's now in the new year, 2016. Uh, Happy New Year's everyone. Um, I, uh, I did some really nice thrifting just before Christmas. They had gotten in some uh, a lot of new stuff like um, I think it was like 12 boxes of uh, cameras and uh, optical stuff um, so I got there pretty early and I was able to pick out some really nice goodies uh, and I'm gonna show you some um, today uh, let's start with <clears throat> here's a OM2 uh, it's a really good SLR camera and as you can see it has a nice 50 millimeters 1.4 lens uh, actually I put in some new batteries and uh, seems to be working pretty nice um, I got it for 150 crowns with this very odd uh, leather casing here in some tan skin tan leather uh, 150 crowns I should, uh, that's uh, $18, I should be able to get maybe, let's say, uh, I can just sell the lens for like six, seven hundred crowns, which is about $75, uh, plus the body, at least $25, so yeah, uh, about a hundred and, hundred, let's say hundred and ten dollars for everything, so that's a big score. Um... I got some Pentax lenses. These are really good condition. They are like mint, minty condition. Uh, let's see if we, the camera can focus here. This is a 200 millimeters uh, f4 lens, uh, uh, super multi coated Tacumar. Um, mint condition the focus is so smooth on these old pentax lenses they're amazing um i paid well this is a part of a kit that i got with a spot, black spot, spotmatic camera and the three other lenses i paid 300 crowns which which is like 35 bucks with a k with a um, uh, with a carrying bag and uh, some other goodies like extension tubes and stuff uh, 35 bucks I mean uh, here's another lens uh, super multi coated Takumar 35 millimeter focus please camera um, 35 millimeters 3.5 also in pristine condition mint condition I'm not sure how much these lenses go for, but they should be about, you know, <coughs> uh, what was it, like 65, 70 bucks uh, a lens. Here's a 55 1.8, also absolute mint condition. I don't, I don't think this kit has been used at all almost. It's a real shame because it's such Pentax makes really good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's see what else do I have here. Oh yeah, this was actually in the box separately, uh, but is from the same. It's the same era of stuff. It's a um, focus, please. Uh, it's a fifty millimeters, one point four. Uh, also, super multi coated Takumar, and um, yeah, it's not the, as good condition, but uh, pretty nice condition. Maybe like 80, 85, 90% good condition. Um, and here's the camera that was in the box, or in the case actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so the 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 camera is in excellent condition. I mean, it looks almost new. You can see some brassing here, 
by the you know where the strap plugs are like um, scratch off here but otherwise it's in beautiful condition and on the camera is a old super Takumar it's not coated so this is pretty good for like um, low contrast um, black and white photography uh, it's a 28 3.5 lens um, beautiful condition and the whole set was uh, like 400 crowns with uh, the 51.4 lens because that was separate so I will get uh, at least four five six times that money for the whole kit and here's an odd one uh, in the bottom of the the cart where these this stuff was uh, it's a bit dirty yeah just some dust uh, there was this lens a beautiful Yashica mm. 21, 21 millimeters 3.5 uh, I was so psyched to get it because it's a quite a rare lens and uh, it's supposed to be really good but I didn't notice it when I when I picked it up and I, I noticed when I came home and was going through my stuff that the back lens is missing like there should be one or a couple of lenses here behind uh, they were missing so I missed that out but I put it up on eBay for like $39 uh, in auction, so I hope that some people will uh, bid on it and buy it, buy it uh, for parts or something. Um, maybe they have a crappy lens with the front lens all scratched, but the back lens are, is nice on their on their uh, lens, and uh, they want to buy this to, you know, switch out parts. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, here's another one. This no, this is in pretty crappy condition. It's, there's a filter on it. Let's see if this babe can focus, please. Ooh, thank you. Okay, it's a Minolta, twenty millimeters, two point eight, and this was like it had the filter on, but still it's scratched in the front lens and. Unfortunately, the back lens. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's like a small dot here, and that's a scratch on the bloody lens. And uh, the back lens is where it matters because that's the closest to the film plane or sensor if you want to use uh, digital cameras. So, uh, unfortunately, it was it's not in the best condition, but they go for like uh, Two three hundred dollars on eBay, so I was hoping to get maybe at least half of that since it's in this crappy condition. Um, oh yeah, and there's there's two two things that I I already sold. Like the day after that, I got all of this. It's a the first thing that I sold was a, a Pentax digital spot meter. It was a hundred crowns, like twelve bucks, and um, and um, I put it up on a in a photo group, international photo group in uh, on Facebook, and a guy from Belgium uh, bought it from me for three hundred dollars. So that's a pretty big um, a big sale. I basically covered the whole um, the whole cost for everything I bought that day and plus some with just selling one one item for $300 I think I paid like $200 for everything so $300 with shipping you know pretty good decent amount um, here's a lens that's actually it's Maybe I'm too close. Okay, uh, this is a Nikon or original lens, uh, or like a, it's uh, out of focus 2870. I thought you know 100 crowns, but when I came home, I noticed that um, the aperture blades are so oily it will not open 
um, correctly when on the camera. So I'm gonna sell it for parts, you know, whatever. I think, yeah, it was like 12 bucks. Um, here's another Nikon lens, beautiful condition. Uh, this is actually a zoom for with manual focus and it's a 35 to 70 millimeters 3.5 and as you can see the condition is super nice focus is really nice you know everything is really good um, that's also 12 bucks I don't I don't think they fetch a lot of money these but you know maybe uh, Hopefully I will get like uh, 60, 70 bucks from it. Uh, let's see, maybe I should... No, I'm gonna do the lenses first. Alright, so here's a really cool lens. Um, this is actually a Schneider Kreuznach Tele Zenar 135 3.5 with the M M42 mount with original lens cap and you should feel this lens it's it's I think it's made of brass because it's super heavy compared to any other lens uh, yeah you can see the brassing here right the color has gone uh, really nice high quality lens um, yeah 12 bucks of course how can you not buy it for that cheap beautiful stuff really quality made uh, lens German of course and here's another German lens this is a East German I think or something Meyer Optik uh, Görlitz uh, it's a Oreste Gore 200 uh, millimeters f4 uh, uh, yeah really good condition super smooth focusing I don't think it's hardly been used or anything uh, I don't have the caps for it, unfortunately. I will, tr and these these lenses are quite popular because they have like a, a stepless um, aperture. So if you are like a filmer, you like to film with your cameras, you can uh, without without um, having the the aperture ring click, you can seamlessly change apertures while fi while filming so these are quite popular uh, because of this and it has a really like round uh, aperture blades there are like 15 blades or something so the bokeh is really nice on these lenses and here's another one Aus Jena it's a 135 3.5 uh, in the box with caps so that's good I don't know how much they fetch but you know for a hundred for for twelve dollars why not especially when it's in the box and it says as you can see it's Aus Jena and I think it's I think it's like Carl Zeiss factory but during uh, some period they couldn't use the size name because there was a battle uh, with the patents, so they just said, ah, okay, Aus Jena, from Jena, uh, it's a, you know, where the old size factory was or something. There were two um, different factories. Uh, so let's break it up, and I can tell you about this one. Um, I have... I have a uh, Tissot watch. Uh, I've been I put up on, for sale. Uh, it was the old automatic PR five hundred and sixteen uh, uh, old um, uh, watch from the sixties, and I happened to find this box at a uh, uh, at a flea market. It was like three dollars. So always when you sell a watch, it's always good to have the box. It's not in the best condition, but you know, whatever. Um, it's always a plus to have the box to a watch. So if you find these boxes for uh, 
watches, just buy them. Don't buy them too expensively, but you know. I bought I bought a Ro I can tell you about what I bought this summer. I bought I found a Rolex box. And with R Rolex often it's not written Rolex here, you know. It's just a crown with uh, like five um, uh, crowns sticking sticking up. And I asked the ah, how much do you want for this uh, old box here? Ah, give me three bucks. Yeah, sure. And then I later, later flipped it for like $90. So why not? So get these boxes is my tip to you. Let's see what else do I have here. Okay, I'm gonna go to like the cameras that I got. Um, oops. So here's a nice old Kodak Re uh, Retina. I think this is one of the first versions and yeah, I messed up the the leatherette there. I think I'm gonna try and glue it back together so it looks at least a bit nicer. So you just flip it open like this and as you can see it's a beautiful little camera. Um, it has a green filter on it, you just screw it off. And um, the best part I think is this nice little uh, leather case. It says Kodak there. Um, retina on top and it has some really nice wear and you know patina unfortunately the uh, the strap is broken as you can see uh, let's see if I can focus a bit there you go uh, but overall I think I paid yeah, I paid 12 bucks for this camera um, I should be able to make five times that for this little camera. I don't know, maybe more. We'll, we'll see. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna show you this nice old binoculars from Voigtlander. Uh, let's see if we can focus correctly. Got that modern cameras. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can hardly see the logo, I guess. Um, but it's a really old brass um, binoculars from Voigtlander I think they're maybe like 20s or 30s at least um, pretty good condition with a leather case <laughs> with some nice patina on it um, people will go crazy for these old looking leather cases uh, I paid I think it was like Either 12 or like 15 bucks or something like that. Pretty good. Uh, I should be able to get maybe like 50 to 80 dollars, let's say. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. I've been a bit ill during the the Christmas holiday here. Anyways, here's um. This is actually like a copy, or yeah. That's how you. That's what they say, but um, it's an old Japanese Yashica uh, YF if uh, with a lens, it's fifty millimeters, one point eight. Uh, it's actually a pretty odd camera. It has this advanced lever here. I've never seen this type before, and um, the button here is really nice to click on. Uh, beautiful condition. Unfortunately, the focusing on the lens is stuck. I don't know what what the hell has happened. Maybe the the fat in the focusing here has just you know uh, got stuck through the through the years of not maybe using it. However, the the camera seems to be working perfectly. So I'm gonna sell it as a kit, and they go on eBay for like uh, 400 bucks. I paid uh, tw uh, $18 with the case that's not here. So that's a nice little find. Here's a pretty odd one. Um, I don't. They're not, you know, special or expensive or anything, but they look really cool. I like these old uh, East German cameras or West German or whatever they are. This is from Exacta. Mm. No, Ihagi. 
I Hage, Dresden. Uh, really fat old camera and the, you, sh you press here. Really nice, you know, condition. I have the case for it also, but not here. Um, I paid $15 or something. Should be able to get at least 60, 70, 80 dollars for it. I hope. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here's a pretty cool one. An another Foytlander item. This one is called Prominent. This is the first version. Uh, you focus by by uh, focus just pulling this one or turning this knob here. And uh, there's a rangefinder. It's pretty awkward to use, but I like the um, I like the system. You know, I like these old odd type cameras. Uh, the slow speeds are off, of course, as usual. And um, but otherwise, it's pretty good condition. Um, I cleaned it up a bit, and it has a uh, color scope bar, 53.5 lens, which it seems to be pretty rare this lens not that it's their best lens because they made a a Nocton 50 1.5 lens for this camera actually which they just the lens go for like three four five six hundred dollars I think uh, however this lens is not very light sensitive so it's not not as sexy uh, but I think the camera go for like three, four hundred dollars or something. I paid eighteen. That's a good one. <coughs> oh yeah, here's a pretty odd camera as well. I've never seen before. It's a Minolta. Minolta A. You see the A with the two dots on top there. That's ex that's pronounced A in Swedish. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a really cool old camera from the, like the 50s or something and um, However, it, the, the advance lever is stuck. I'm not sure what the hell is going on there, but the shutter seems to be okay and um, Yeah, I mean this is just a, a pretty odd camera. So I put it on online uh, on the Swedish auction site and I've already got an, uh, a bid for it's up in like the 200 and Let's see, 260 crowns, which is about 30, 32, 33 dollars. Um, and people will get this just because it's odd, you know. It's an unusual model. It's not in the best condition. You can see there's a dent there. Uh, let's see, there you can see it maybe. But yeah, cool looking camera. Uh, here's one I've, I've never seen before actually. Uh, I know about it, I've heard about it and seen it, you know, but it's an old Agfa uh, SLR lens with interchangeable uh, lenses. Let's see if I can show you, you know, you just take the lens apart, small lenses, it looks like, a, you know, like a lenses or something. And um, <clears throat> it's called Ambiflex. And I don't know if, oops, let's see here. There you go. Um, it's like, uh, it's like uh, both leaf shutter system and uh, uh, with a mirror. So it's pretty odd little camera. I don't think they made it for a very long time. Um, but uh, high quality all the way actually with you know the usual stuff when it comes to the german stuff so uh i paid 18 dollars i should be able to get maybe like 100 to 150 i think uh, because it's such an odd camera and i don't think the light meter works but whatever uh yeah so here's some a couple of uh uh, big large format cameras or they're more more, more likely like um, you know for um, uh, how do you say in English glass plate cameras I guess 
Um, and this one is, I, I just thought it was so beautiful because it has these girts, uh, metal um, chrome finish, you know. Uh, it has all these kind of weird features. Uh, and actually the frames work on this. And uh, it's a bellows camera. You just pull this out here. Plop and uh, fasten it here. Just a cool camera overall, and um, I paid 200 crowns, which is like 24 dollars maybe. And this should be like you know, it's not for you to use. It's more like a display piece or uh, to have it in your collection. Um, nice looking camera from the teens or the 20s. I'm not sure. Oops, what the hell did I do there? Okay. Uh, and it also came with a case and uh, two backs for it, like uh, one for glass plates and one for regular um, uh, negatives. And here's one I picked up because it was just so pretty. With the red uh, bellows and uh, all the chrome finishing and it also has a, a water uh, bubble, water level, which is pretty cool. Uh, not that very common, it was usually like an accessory you had to get separately. But this one is nice and uh, the shutter is pretty weird. It pulls out this like gasket thing here. So you, you press it with, um, with a uh, wide shutter release and it presses this out and it trips the shutter. <laughs> and it's very... Uh, maybe I, you can pick this up in the video, but um, there's some serious, serious uh, lens separation here in the bottom. And uh, yeah, most of the lens is crap. But people buy these for display and, you know, just to put in their collection because they're, they're quite odd little cameras, these. Um, I'm going to put that one there. And here's one I'm really bummed out. It, it turned out that it, it didn't work. Um, I don't know if you can see here at the bottom it says Polaroid. Um, there you go. And it's a nice fake leather uh, case and inside you have this beautiful SX70. Uh, really cool little camera, really compact. You can just put it in your jacket pocket and you get instant pictures with this little beauty. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I tried everything uh, to get it to work, but um, it's just dead. And I'm gonna sell it as that, as a display piece, classic design, camera history piece. Um, and the case is nice because it came with Swedish instructions how to open you know, all the basics and uh, inside the compartment here you have like unused uh, accessories let's see if I can show you what it is it's like a uh, Polaroid close-up lens and flash diffuser doesn't seem to be open or maybe not used at least um, and a Polaroid accessory holder, um, you know, pretty cool little piece. Oh yeah, and here's a tripod mount. Um, there's no tripod uh, fastening thing on the camera, so I guess they included this little thing. You, st you just put the camera in this, and you can use it on a tripod. So that's nice. And uh, let's see if I can find anything else to show you. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I, I guess, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you also that I bought another Pentax. Uh, it's a Pentax lens. It's It was called Auto Takumar 55 1.8. And uh, it was a zebra. Uh, it's called a zebra because, you know, it was, I can show you. Here's a picture of it, and um, <laughs> it was, um, it's a really rare lens apparently. Basically the whole hole was like, you know, 
covered by those two sales which I I got uh, I got selling uh, quite fast there so now everything I will sell from this lot is just gravy uh, money that goes right into my pocket so I'm just happy so thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding like you know cameras or watches or stuff I'm glad uh, I would gladly help you and uh, just post you know uh, in the comments uh, or private message me or something on YouTube here and I'll try to do my best to help you um, alright happy new years everyone and uh, happy 2016 and uh, I'll do some more uh, thrift vid thrifting haul videos when I have done some more hunting. Alright, peace out.